That's Darren Janish of the Army National Guard. Ben Hendrickson, who's from Air Force, wearing sweater number 14 for the white team with the Canada logo. Uh, the veteran Tom Chorsky, who we spoke of earlier, looking his fine, usual self, one of the good guys around. Jimmy O'Brien, the Ottawa Senator, picking up a lot of ice time in the NHL here of late, doing a nice job there. Stefan Veilloux of the Minnesota Wild, a fan favorite, gets a hearty, hearty. Plenty of, wild, plenty of wild jerseys in the crowd today. They're peppered. Jed Leonard from the Air Force Academy will be wearing sweater number 21. Another guy that's dusted him off is Mark Parrish of the Minnesota Wild. Former New York Islander as well, just wrapped it up last year. The 2011-12 season was his last. There's Matt Hendricks, the former capital and now current Nashville Predator. Boy, David Boyle's done a nice job retooling that addition. Wearing sweater number 27 is going to be Rick Erridge from Air Force. Alex Goligoski, the current Dallas Star, former Pittsburgh Penguin, and of course gets the hearty Minnesota welcome from the University of Minnesota. Yeah, solid career for him. Eric Bolton of the New York Islanders, Halifax, Nova Scotia native. He and Hardy might be the only two Canadians on the roster here. Oh, there's another one. Taylor Jordan as well, <laughs> as uh, he's wearing sweater number 43. It's a faux Canadian team. Ken Patterson, what a year he had for the University of Minnesota. As he closed out a couple years ago in goal, he had a 28-win season. Of course, there's Josh Hardy, the goaltender, converted to forward. They missed Cam LeBlanc, your other goaltender. Oops. Lou Nanny is your coach for Team Canada with his former player Steve Payne hanging out right to his right. Here's Team USA now. We'll take a look at them and their camo unis looking very solid. There's Jamie McBain for the Buffalo Sabres. Looks like he still has the Carolina Canes Bridges, the Reds. Hasn't picked up his equipment yet. Chris Blauer, at the track. <laughs> Chris Blauer wearing sweater number five. He is from the Army National Guard. Kevin O'Brien from the National Army Guard. Danny Christo, the former Eaton Prairie native. And now current New York Ranger. Wearing sweater number 18. Kyle Ocposo will be wearing sweater 21 in that abbreviated stint. It's been a mainstay for the New York Islanders as he has had a great start to his career. Jeff Tafe continues to patrol the ice surface. This guy is like a cat. He has nine lives. He's been playing forever. He has a long career. Tafe, of course, for the Capitals. Zach Kudish, who graduated from the University of Minnesota, completed his four years of hockey now with the Nashville Predators. Will be wearing sweater number 24. Nick Bukestad will be wearing number 27. First rounder of the Florida Panthers. They're going to watch. They want to have any injured knees out here. Nate Schmidt, the Golden Gopher black backliner from St. Cloud Cathedral, will wear sweater number 29. Look out for this one. Brock Nelson is going to be a player. The War Road native made his NHL debut in the Stanley Cup playoffs for the Islanders. How about that? Pretty cool. I remember him just dominating that Class A state tournament a few years ago. Nate Prosser will be the one of the defensemen from the Minnesota Wild. The big fella, Joe Finley. Towering defenseman. 
will be wearing sweater number 52. I coached that young man two years. I'll have plenty of stories for you on that one. It's pretty awesome. Something special. Uh, Montreal Canadian product Mike Condon. He was from the Penticton Bees, among other things, national development team. Yeah, to sign and a two-year two -year deal this spring with the Canadians. Check that. Hunter Miska was a Penticton B in the national development team. Condon is the Montreal Canadian. Yeah, a couple guys looking to prove themselves in the, uh, the pro ranks this upcoming year. Matt Hendricks from the Nashville Predators. He's wearing number 26. So there's a... And... Uh, do they have one coach down there? Yep, they're, they're wearing, okay, they're there. They're wearing their uh, Team USA jackets right now. Appreciate Housley, Fatoli, and Dave Schwartz. Working that patriotic look. Gotta love it. Gotta like it. Well, it's, uh, you know, Phil Housley. Is, uh, you know, Phil Housley's been a very, very rock solid. He gets a big rounding applause there. He's been a rock solid uh, contributor to USA Hockey his entire career. So he's been very critical there. It's Let's really pause neat. now for your national anthems. Helmets have been fastened. Uh, skaters are taking a quick warm-up, and we're going to be ready to go here. Felt like a pretty uh, official NHL tilt with that, uh, that introduction with the Canadian and, and American anthems. Well, you know what? It was uh, That's nothing but first class here. Love it. 
Shane Hudella gets the job. He, he wore the pads last year, remember that? Stole the show. I do remember that. Remember that? I was like, okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, he was, he was, he was like a difference maker. Yeah. It was unbelievable. You know, I, I mentioned last year, it's kind of a weird, uh, somber from an NHL perspective moment. Because I don't, we didn't really know where we were going with that lockout. Totally. It was like November, I think, when this when this game came about. So it, it was a glimpse at it. There's a little bit of angst, you know. I mean, you know, owners, players, who knows? All we know is they weren't playing. It's right. a, a totally new point now as these guys are getting ready for training camp coming up here in September for what's going to be a great year, of course, around the league. New realignment, it's going to be yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So. Big thanks for sure. The NHL is. Uh Definitely an exciting time right now, and uh, so many great ties to this state, and it's, it's so cool to see these guys uh, around the area uh, giving back and uh, participating in an event like this. Ceremonial uh, first drop of the puck. Harding and Hendricks shake hands. This should be something else, I'll tell you. These guys are having fun. There's a lot of smiles down there. They're, it's just a great event. These guys, I'm sure, appreciate coming together and uh, just seeing one another. There's a, there's a lot of ties for these guys back to you know their, their youth, whether it's the high school or, or college ranks. These guys spend a lot of time together out on the ice and off the ice as well. Three cameras, replay, the whole deal. Hope you guys are enjoying the telecast. We're, uh, we're, we're pretty locked and loaded up here in the press box. We're excited to be... Uh, be underway here. Bolton pulls a drawback, and it's going to be Team Canada wearing the white sweaters moving from left to right across your computer screen in control. Alveu with a controlled rush across the line looks to the slot area as that fails to click. And it's played back through to the goal mouth area, and it's going to be gathered in. Akposo plays back behind Schmidt, back up for Akposo. Team USA through center ice. Schmidt tried to get through. Tried to slice and dice, nothing doing there. As that's Erich with it, back behind the net. Now on the stick for Galagoski, protects the puck. And it's played back up to the center ice area. Here's O'Brien with it. That's Kevin O'Brien. To the left side, hits the shin pad of Akposo as it's poked off his stick. And it's going to be gathered in behind the net and controlled by Team Cannon. Once again, the look off the side of the cage. Galagoski working the offensive flow down low. Pretty quick that uh, that puck just kind of bounced out in front. Great job to cover it up, our first whistle. Running time here. Two running time, 25 minute halves. Tom Chorsky will lean in to take the draw. We'll see if the veteran still has the quick mitts. Went to the stick, yep, the veteran Wiley gets it done. As that's peeled off the stick there and played back off of Brock Nelson. Now through center ice, Crisco plays left wing side. On the backhand, Bukestad looks in front. Pad save, puck is Waddling across the goal line, quick whistle, oohs and ahs here from your crowd. They're, they want some goals. They, they want the biscuit in the basket, and they deserve it. Yep, they're looking for the offense. By the way, I'd like to say hello to everybody watching on Defending the Blue Line uh, overseas, right here in the U.S., Canada. We know there's a nice crowd watching here. We appreciate uh, your support in this endeavor and everything that you do. Puck is played back in behind. Bukestad is there. The big fella protects the puck. This is Bukestad up to the point to the near side to Finley, the big fella, six feet, eight inches. Bukestad, uh oh, he's dangerous. Oh, he had the shot, but gave it up. Unselfish. Jed Leonard, now they play it up to the left wing side. It's Thomas Vanek. Little drop pass. There's a quick shot. Ooh, a pad save and a beauty. Nice job there. These guys are looking to make plays today. It's a little different kind of style in an NHL game. They're Looking to throw it around and, and uh, Absolutely. You know, give the fans a little showtime. Brock Nelson with it now. Looks to the slot area. Pokes it through. It's like NBA All-Star NHL style. Or skills competition. Christo touches Brock Nelson. Shovels a pass to the slot area. That's peeled away and taken out of the zone neatly. Up through the left wing side. It was Taylor Chorney that made that play deep. Chorsky was there. Kind of a long shift for the veteran. Bounding puck played up the center ice area neatly there across the line. Akposo fans on that one. And it's going to be gathered in on the play there by Tape. One time Akposo. Oh, shot! That's a goal! What a beautiful effort there as they work the tic tac toe past Kent Patterson. 
for the one to nothing lead. I think that was Budish who picked up that tally. Moody got that one. Nice play by Cloak Posa to and set him up in the slot. Uh, puts it down low to Budish who puts it on net with his first attempt, gets it right back, and, uh, and puts it past the goaltender for our first goal of the game. Now Team Canada in control as they're going to play it back up through center ice. Akposo now is going to be Tate. That's deflected. Harding will come in with the grinding four check as he's going to watch his man closely behind the back, play it away neatly there. Is that Condon that got the nod in goal or is that Miska down there for Team USA? Can you get me a number on that one, Andrew? Harding tries to dangle. Oh, my word. But Chris Blauer had nothing doing with that. Condon's in the net. Okay, so Condon yeah, is uh, the former Team America. Canadian. Now it's going to be Budish. Drop pass. Akposo edges his way back down low to the slot area. That one wide of Patterson. Bumped off the wall. Jimmy O'Brien plays it. Left wing side now. That's on the stick of Alex Galagoski. Ahead it goes back to O'Brien. And it's going to be gathered in and turned back up ice by Matt Hendricks. Hendricks of the Predators, that's off his stick, and it's going to be off Goligoski at center ice. Protected to the corner, poked off the wall. That was bold there. There's a shot and a save by Patterson, whistled down. Great save. Boy, he's been fighting that puck like, I mean, get center ice. Are we so getting point, protected point blank to the looks. corner, poked off the wall? And get him in the boxing ring there, the way he's that fighting that puck here tonight. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's a tough Curry's save. not going to want to hear me say that. Easy from up here. I was going to say, that's a pretty difficult play to make. You got a couple guys uh, bearing down on them. The defense is not uh, not, the, not the premier here. It's, it's all about <laughs> it's the offense. It's not a priority is what you're no, saying? No, exactly. At the line, poked into the pads of Brock Nelson. Low slot area, played back up high. Schmidt, ooh, this is just some quick passing. Team USA putting out a virtual puck distribution clinic. Now Nelson, down low. Stick checked as Hendricks, can't pull the trigger. And it's going to be played ahead by Bayou. Bolton with it now. Puts on the brakes. Turns it over. Here comes Brock Nelson. He has a man on the weak side. That was Hendricks. But that's going to be peeled away and handled on the play there by Taylor Chorney. Bayou tries to get away from Jamie McBain. Now Bayou, one tire Bolton wanted to go five. Wolf got everything into that one, but that was deflected neatly. Back in behind the net. Bukestad is there with a token poke check. And that gets away from Bukestad. To the left wing side out of the zone, they come with Christo. Slick puck mover, knee Ooh. pass from Bukestad. The former rivals, North Dakota and University of Minnesota players, hooking up on that one. Now it's Chorney from the corner, puts on the brakes, regains control, leaves off neatly. Long pass on the right wing for Bayou. Bayou looks ahead for his man. That fails to click, as that was Thomas Manick, the intended receiver. There's a uh, touch pass that failed to clear. These guys are looking to make one extra pass every time. On the right wing side, here comes Team Canada. Flip to the stick of Galagoski. Try to angle his way back in and through. And that one goes up and out of play. 18-12 and counting here on the clock. What? Team USA leads by a score of one to nothing. Boys are getting their feet wet. That one swatted away, and it's going to be handled by Team Canada. Tape was there. Now it's Hardy. Nice little dish for Chorus. He dangles, shoots, wanted the five hole. Condon says no, swats it away to the near side. Back at center ice it goes. Tape was there momentarily, but it was poked away from him. Neatly by Team Canada. Now Chorsky can't handle it with one mitt. Now Finley, neat pass through center. Christo, right-handed shot wide of Patterson. Carry him to the near side. Here comes Team Canada. Back up out of the ice. Long pass. Harding. Oh, spoon bet. A partial breakaway. Froster lets him go. Oh, and a big <laughs> save. Harding with a great look there. Gets heavy tears there. He's got big grins on his face right now as he goes to the bench. <laughs> he wobbles his way back word. to the bench. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Frosser gave him a little stick tap on the ice for the pressure. That's awesome. Great look. Oh, pass is picked up neatly there. Great play by Chris Blauer. Now here's Canada again. O'Brien, a shot. 
And a nice save made there. Hung on to by Mike Condon, but he'll shovel that off to his right. 16.40 to go here in the first half of a two-half contest from Ritter Arena on the lovely campus of the University of Minnesota. You have some great players assembled here today as we celebrate defending the blue line, the NHL players' charity game. Really neat event, Wags. A lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of families, a lot of kids out that have uh, you know, loved, loved the NHL so much and watching all these guys. It's a big event for, for the kids to watch. And, uh, a lot of kids in the house here tonight. Appreciate uh, all you guys tuning in. It's uh, and pretty, pretty awesome to have you guys alongside us. Of course, the main focus of this is to support military fam families that help keep hockey playing a possibility. You know as well as I do. I've got a senior in high school this year, and uh, it is not cheap to play this game and to support it as a parent. Hendricks down low, that one through the goal mouth area. I mean, I, we're just not even talking about equipment. You want to keep up with the Joneses, how about the camps and clinics? It's the greatest game ever, but almost pricing itself out to oblivion here. Off the end boards, they're going to battle. Peeled away neatly there by Jimmy O'Brien. 29th overall pick of the Ottawa Senators back of the day. Ocposo check with that one. Lost the handle momentarily and shovels it back up through center. On the puck now that's going to be a close over to Hendricks. Back to a, ooh, that was a nice little two-way passing set up there. Schmidt fires this one rink wide. McBain finds Nelson. Shovels that one wide of the cage and it's going to be gathered in by Chorney. Looks in place. That's ahead for Veyu. Stefan he goes hard history. all the time. He's, he's, you know what? You play three v three. He's going to go hard. He, he doesn't. He, nothing halfway with this guy. He's been on a stick a lot. Uh, absolutely. You look at back checking. Jacques Lemaire somewhere is smiling, pleased. To the goal mouth area. Schmidt now. Team USA. Low slot area. Poked away back to center. Here comes McBain. Jamie McBain on the puck. Traded from the Carolina Hurricanes to the Buffalo Sabers. Now Veyu. In on goal, Condon's been perfect here tonight so far. They get away from the stiff four check there of Harding as they play that one back up through the center ice area. Bolton is there. How about this guy? Ninth round pick of the National Hockey League with Bolton. There he is over on the left wing side of the puck. Took six years to crack his way into the lineup of the National Hockey Harding. League. And here he is, Harding. Harding, I'm telling you, he might be, he might be down cherry picking all night. We're going to have to get this guy uh, uh, some sort of, uh, he's going to need some therapeutic massage when he's done with this one. I'm not sure, he, I'm not sure he's going to be crossing the red line like too, too often tonight. But you know what's so funny? He is faster with pads on than without them. It feels really weird. I bet. Bukestad. Oh. There's a save. And back up. Here comes Bolt, the journeyman. In on goal. Oh. Four! Goes far side, little windmill Selly. Sure, Team USA is going to take note of that one. Springing them. You know, that's what you got to do in a game like this, maybe. Just uh, jump a guy, get him, get him going. Ninth round pick of the Buffalo Sabres in 1994. He's been at the Thrashers, Devils, Islanders. Like I said, bait his dues in the yeah. minors. I love the story. Six years and yeah. found his way up to the show, and he hasn't left. In the NHL since 2000. Got to like it. Pretty cool. Rink wide for Hendricks. Pulls himself offside. Looked at the linesman, said, "You're taking this serious, aren't you?" Starting to pick up a little bit. You got to take it, it all the way down. At, at some point, it, it's just whether it's a play or a, a few different guys that, that choose to just turn it up a notch. It'll it'll just kind of hit another level, and uh, maybe maybe we're kind of getting there. Now it's Veyu with it. Veyu tries to chip this one through. Ooh, neat little play there. Dribbles through Finley, the big fella to the corner, Veyu. This, that could be a fight right there. Veyu and Finley will go. Ooh! I don't think we're going to be seeing any fights out there today. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> if anybody's going to go here, those two will go, <laughs> trust me. Well, and Joe Finley is a squirt A in Edina, and then at the Bantam B1 level, his first year. Goodness gracious, talk about a tough, hard-nosed kid, a lot of fun. Those are some great teams. Nate Hagemo was a part of that one. Of course, the Carolina Hurricanes second round pick. Boy, were we good coaches that year. Puck goes across the line. Ocposo has it. It's all about talent. Oh, oh he nearly makes a play. Leg is extended on the goaltender. Kent Patterson's been solid here, too. 
One to one, your score, 11.47 to go in the running time first half. Pretty fun way, he's getting a few uh, open opportunities here in the last couple minutes. We're looking for some breakaways. We're looking for some some snipers, some... Uh, there's a take, there's looking at a breakaway, a partial one right there. No go, you gotta oh. watch the groin on that one. Full it's a little extension. early, a little early, get the ice. <laughs> Christo, now it's up to the left wing side. The shot by Team USA fails to click, and it's going to be turned back up at center ice. That gets away from Plitz, Chris Blauert, and that's off a stick. There's a touch pass to the corner. Now it's going to be Brock Nelson with it. He's going to shovel ahead. Christo playing with a little bit of a purpose here today. The former Eden Prairie Eagle, national development team. Pretty, player. Sweet, pretty sweet line here of uh, Christo and Nelson and Eustet. Nice little Hashi going there through center ice by O'Brien. Jimmy O'Brien to the back. Yeah, and he rings that one off the post. Nice look there. Now it's back up to the point. Shot taken. Pushed wide of the cage. And out of the zone comes Team USA. Christo with it. That fails to click with Bukestad, and they're going to transition to center. O'Brien again, boy, he's got a purpose. A little jump in his stride. He's been working out. Bolton can't handle that one off the wicket. Tried to bat it down, but it's going to be Jamie McBain on the rush ahead. Tave with oh. a bounding puck. Tave back in. Oh. Now there's another post. One to one and post in front. Tapped in. He scores. <laughs> Brock Nelson where's the back, puts that one away. Where's the back checking on that what one? What do you mean, where's the back <laughs> check? There is no. That's a, that's a figment of your imagination. Doesn't exist today. Tave does a nice job. Collecting it and then uh, going to the backhand, rings it off the pipe. And his line mates are there to help clean it up as Brock Nelson gets the goal and puts USA back on top, 2-1. to one. Couple Eastern Conference players took it up there. There's Akposo again, tries to shovel that one through. And it's gonna be, Vey haven't seen much of Parrish. Is he out there? They with a shot, paddled down by Condon. Two to one USA leads here in the first half. That's gonna make it, oh, no ice. Oh, Patterson wisely. Knowing this is an exhibition game. Play will go line. right off, oh, but they turn it right over. Oh, oh and that one fails to click, and they score! Oh, Poso could put that one on the mantle. Another big goal in his resume. It's now 3-1 Team USA. Crash and then all three of them down there that time. You see it wags. It's Patterson got, got out of position a little bit. Got caught outside the net, got, got caught outside the crease, and Opos does a nice job to collect it, bury it. USA takes a two-goal lead, 3-1. Prosser, Finley, passes that clock with a purpose. Finley plays it off to the left wing side, and they're gonna try to play this one as it dribbles through the goal mile area. And it on goal as that one stopped. And handled. They look at the face-off circle there to the left of the goaltender, Kent Patterson. Chorney to the left wing side. And they find Veyu steaming up the left wing to the backhand. Oh, oh and another groin pull there by Condon. So these guys are getting tested, forced to go east-west. It's a goaltender's nightmare in these kind of contests. Now it's going to be Bukestad with a shot up over the glass, and here comes Chorsky, the veteran 46-year-old. To the left wing side, puts some juice on that one, fails to click. Jordy, Jordy with it. Tom and I are good friends. I can go there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a rocket. Yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> a bullet. To the right wing side, it's Christo. Ahead to Budish. That one stuck away and in on goal. Patterson makes the save. We're going to play on. No, yeah, we are going to play on. Chorsky with it. Left wing side. On the tape there for Chorsky again. Leaves off. And that's going to be Hendricks ahead for Tape. Tape had a stint with the Minnesota Wild, among others, Phoenix Coyotes. 
Nelson, oh, oh. one of the one-timer for the trailer. Hendricks, that fails to click. There's a shot taken there that fails to find its way by Kevin O'Brien from the Army National Guard. Now back across the line, they work the puck through. That one rolls off the skates or the stick there of Rick Erich. Oh, in on goal, nice save. Rebound, oh. that one wide of the cage. And Team USA quickly outlets to the left wing. Tape on the backhand, right wing side, has Hendricks to the net. Nelson, this is a dangerous line. If I'm an NHL general manager, I like the size, strength, and speed. Down low now is Chris Blauert. He's been a stalwart defensively here. Hasn't left anything on the table here for Team USA. Across the line, here comes Canada. Right again, the checkered on the tape. That one's, again, a good defensive effort led by Blauert. And Hendricks will carry to the right wing side. 5.51 and counting here, half number one. That's off the stick. Brock Nelson plays this one through, poked ahead. And it's going to be played off to the left wing side. Quick pass to the near wing, fails to click. And it's going to be Team USA to center. Hendricks from Nate Schmidt now to the right wing to McVeigh. Across the line, Ocoso charging to the net. Weak side, that one gets through, fails to click. And it's Team Canada over skating. There's O'Brien momentarily. Oh, a big turnover, Ocoso. Oh, and he puts some oh. juice into that and he scores. Goal number two for Kyle Ocoso. You know what? Getting him a lead because he's got to go. I don't know if he's got a wedding or what's going on, but he's out of here. He's about the age for the wedding to start to happen, he's, isn't he? He's trying to snag an MVP honor before he gets out Abs of here. Going selfish. <laughs> nice yeah. shot there. Right place, right time for him on that one. Is it uh, a nice nice shot? Patterson could have, couldn't handle it. Got, got through his five hole and just kind of snapped the crease. He didn't hold back on that one. He, he put some, uh, some muscle into that shot. And it was a tough one to handle the first way through there by Patterson. Nice pass by Bukestead that fails to click. Now it's going to be McVay. Looks to his left and Schmidt didn't like what he saw. He's going to play this one down the line. Poked off his stick. It's going to be handled again. Schmidt with it from the middle. Let's that one through. Harding with a nice defensive play. Oh, dangled by Christo. Harding's going to be walking off the ice wearing a barrel he got so deep down that one. Undressed. Christo. Now Ocposo up for Bukestead. Gets away from... Oh! oh yeah, he switched over! <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think he is? Chris Chelios? Shelly used to shoot the puck from the blue line that way. Really? Absolutely. He'd pull it, just switch it over, and he'd shoot it just as hard as he did the other way. Wow. Had almost a straight stick, too. A little bit of a curve, How's but he that? could pull it up. It was ridiculous. Oh. Pull that angle quite a bit with the Hawks. I'm, looking, the up, I'm looking up some of those highlights You're tonight. Have to. O'Brien now for Team Canada. They trail by three at four to one. Team USA has just been very consistent on the offensive flow here. You know, they, right here is where they've been dangerous as they've got so much talent up front. They just tic-tac-toe. Christo with it. Cuts to the forehand. Oh, in on goal. Patterson shuts the door, makes a save, plays it on, and out of the zone they come. O'Brien plays ahead for Bayou. Bolton to the net. Nice oh. pass. Oh, he wants. He's dueling with his four. His uh, New York Islander teammate. Pretty play there. For MVP honors. You got, you got what, three or four Islanders out here. Nelson. Garth Snow putting his chips in the Minnesota players. Bolton, of course, from Nova Scotia. But needs a, needless, uh, needless to say, quite a few Minnesotans. Peppering that lineup. How about Honors Lee? Another uh, Absolutely. Honor. Jimmy O'Brien of the shot. Like he's going to have a nice NHL career. Could have been the quarterback, Honors Lee, by the way, at uh, Notre Dame, too. Oh. Down low it goes. Of course, he was the, he's not here, but Nike player of the year. That one over the class in football. Finley misses in his bid, and now it's going to be Bayou with it, who plays ahead for O'Brien. Left wing side. Through center across the line. Now it's O'Brien. Snapper over the top of the goal. That one bounces away. Bolton runs into Hendricks. A little love tap there. 2.23 to go here in the first half. We're not going to do the ice, folks. We're going to keep it here. So you're not going to have much of an opportunity to uh, step away from your computer screen. So don't go far. Hendricks is shot and a save. Patterson just wants to get out of here at this point. Chorney plays it to the right wing side for O'Brien. Ahead to Bolton, has Chorsky at the line with Bayou crossing. Now it's Bolton down low, holds on the brakes, puts that one off the side of the net. Stopped and turned aside by Condon. 
Now it's Tafe left wing side. He has Brock Nelson who wanted the touch pass to tap into the back of the cage, fails to click. Back through center ice. Oh, here comes Team Canada in on goal. The oh, the back end. That one rolls right off the stick and to the near wall. Nelson takes over for Tafe. Shovels ahead, neat little pass. Nelson gets it. Now it's going to be Tafe again. Lowert was in on that play as well, and that's whistled down what we have. Offside. Head coach Lou Nanny on uh, one side, and I don't know if it's really head coach. He's having with the first. A Bill Hawley on the other. Advisor. <laughs> it's pretty natural standing. It reminds me of the day. Absolutely. He used, used to be the skipper of the Minnesota North Stars. Looking inside, oh. far down, and no, that was the crossbar. I thought that was back of the net for VU. There's a nice shot, Goligoski with a deflection in on goal. Rick Erich from Air Force, the U.S. Air Force, with an opportunity there. Connor doing a nice job in the net for Team USA. As we noted, he uh, signed a two-year deal with the Montreal Canadiens in May. So he's going to be looking to, uh, to gain a roster spot, or I'm not even sure where he is in the pecking order, but... Uh, I've been impressed by his skills here this afternoon. Well, no question, the Montreal Canadiens have have uh, gone through a little bit of a, a a little bit of an identity change. Of course, they had the Norris Trophy winner, PK Subban, quite the player from the back line there. A beast. Bergeron doing a great job at the uh, general manager. Nobody wears the glasses better. Galagoski, oh, a glove save and a beauty there. Nice little one by Con. And the old how's she going? Flares it off to the left. Erich now back in behind the net, and that does it for half number one. Team USA with a three-goal lead at 4-1. to one. We take a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll have the second half coming up for you here from Britter Arena. Welcome back to Ritter Arena, everybody. I was wrong. I guess first time of the year. <laughs> I didn't think they were doing ice. I guess I didn't see the production notes at the start of this one. So uh, we had to get these guys some uh, air and some breath here. So once it's again, fine. you know, I, everybody I, I, so we got a chance to get fresh, take a breather. Got a fresh product out here. By the way, I have to tell you this, that uh, Bryce Salvador uh, was a healthy scratch uh, for today's effort. We mentioned him in the pregame, uh, and he did, He is not here. Uh, also, Thomas Vanek is out with what is being disclosed as an upper body injury. The, uh, the injury protocol is the same as the NHL here. They, they, they're not going to reveal too much. Uh, you know what? Shane Hudella is not going to let that happen. He's going to protect the players. He knows what he has to do. And, uh, by the way, Vanek was replaced by Matt Garrett, who's uh, wearing number 26, very proud. Also from the onset, Colonel Scott St. Silver uh, from Minnesota National Guard out of Camp Ripley, their post commander did the first puck drop. Wanted to make sure we got that in as well. Also would like to mention uh, a big thank you to USO, that's USO.org. You saw a couple of those uh, commercials uh, work for them and run another organization that is uh, getting the job done and as I said, bringing the comforts of home to our troops throughout the world and uh, making a, a nice little partnership here, at least here in this contest, with another great organization that, uh, of course, is defending the blue line. Yeah, great support. They uh, Maybe we can get a camera shot over, over the, uh, the raffle area here on the far end of the rink. 
plenty of, uh, of great stuff that's been donated and uh, used to you know, bolster the, uh, the contributions that are going to come out of this day. So uh, really neat job. Uh, and again, thank you to everybody that's contributed in that sense. I'd like to mention the mission of the USO is to lift the spirits of America's troops and their families millions of times each year at hundreds of locations around the world. The USO lifts the spirits of American troops and their families, a nonprofit, congressionally chartered, private organization. The USO relies on uh, the generosity of individuals, organizations, and corporations to support its activities. The USO is not part of the US government, but is recognized by the Department of Defense. Congress and President of the United States who serve as Honorary Chairman of the USO. So they, of course, are part of this great, great event here. NHL players charity game from Ritter Arena. There's a nice save. Flaring the pad for Team Canada. Now in goal, wearing sweater number 30 is Cam LeBlanc from U.S. Air Force. It's going to be Bayou. Teams will go the same right to left, left to right pattern. So Team USA in their camouflage sweaters. Ocoso has not left early. He's staying. He wants the MVP honors. Bayou and Tafe, look at that. They got together there. And uh, now it's going to be Eric. That's off his stick. And now it's going to be picked up in the corner by Bolton. Now back behind the net. Chris Blower is there. Ooh, nice little cutback move to the center ice area. McVeigh plays ahead. Bolton with it. Scores! Oh. oh, he just fired that into the back of the net. Off for the skate goes Hunter Miska. Nowhere to hide on that one. That was an absolute beanie. Number two for Bolton. I believe he's got both the goals now for Team Canada. Eric Bolton just got right into it and let it fly. I was going to throw the no relation to musical great Michael Bolt, but I didn't. it was in the back of the net too fast. Oh, my. You knew that was coming. Might be able to play a little saxophone, What though. would a broadcast or webcast be without us, without a little, uh, little no relation to? Nice to get a kick out of that back in the day. Across center ice, here they come. Leonard with it. Harding going to the net. Now it's Chorsky from the right point. But wrist shot, they wanted the deflection, the redirect. Erich was there, but nobody home. Hunter Miska, the uh, new, new goaltender for Team USA, active early here. Early and off and being forced to move. Canada with a little push now. Down by two. They have the lead now at 4-2. Schmidt, wrist shot, wide of the cage. Karam heads up to Christo from the right point. Gets away from one man. That's off Harding. Now it's Schmidt, shot. Ooh, nice save. Steered aside there by LeBlanc. Oh, that oh. one off the post. Oh, our first penalty. Oh, my word. Oohs and ahs from the faithful here, Brock Nelson. Get some, get some serious I laughs down there. Jordy, they're like, wow. <laughs> oh, the sticks hit the ice. Love it. The entertainment has begun here in the, in the second half. We get the penalty shot. That's going to be Schmidt. Oh, wow. This goes straight to the penalty shot, huh? I like that format. That'd be kind of a fun fun aspect to just bring it to the actual game of hockey. It's the only way to go. I like when you have the chasers, though. Or if he misses it, it's still live. Yes. That's a three-on-three -three deal. Oh, it, it rattles through the wickets and somehow stays out of the net. It nearly works. I, Campbell Blanc got the job. I think Schmidt kind of kind of messed it up. Kind of lost the handle, but then the the stick comes loose. Oh, well, great work by your director Zach Halverson. The guy just graduated from high school, and he's going to go to school to be a, a producer. Why bother? I shouldn't he's say that. Got, he's already got I it. I said that in front of his father, who nearly took me down. Well, he's got everything he needs. I said he's better he's than an anybody I've ever worked with. The transition? You kidding me? Yeah, you're hired. Erich just offside. Great job, Zach, running the three camera shoot, the replay, slow-mo, the whole deal. Beautiful work. He's got it. Back up at center ice it goes. We'll face it off with 20.53 to go. Great to see our good friend Todd Mulliken. Usually we see him at the uh, Edina Hornet uh, games. One of the big super fans of the high school brand. Whenever called upon, Mully's going to get it done. Janish off the inside and uh, the right side. Now it's O'Brien. Janish gets it back. His shot is batted away, and it's going to be picked up by Hendricks. Here's Tafe across center. 
He's going to take it to the right wide right side. Left hand shot. Oh, Nelson oh. giving it up in front. They what? score. How did that go? My word. Uh, came off the end boards and he. Oh, we'll show you on replay. I, I need a replay on that one. Did that go over the net? No, it came off the end boards and then right under the stick of Hendricks. All smiles on that goal. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. The old tap home. Nifty Five little, to two. Nifty little pass behind the net. A big save made there by LeBlanc on that penalty shot. Had that gone and we could be sitting at 6-2. But instead it still sits at 5-2. It's going to be Finley. And they play it back up to center. That Brock Nelson pass is picked off and it's going to be gathered in there by Team Canada. That's Goligoski that had it momentarily. Now Bayou, hard pass for O'Brien. He has a good look at the gate. Scores! He had the whole net and made no bones about it, although he went cocky and goes posted in. If he would have pumped that one wide. 5-3. The score. Oh, there's Parrish. I'm looking for him. Is he wearing Cooper nice off? Nice shot by Jimmy O. The Ottawa Senator in his fourth season now in the NHL. Played for the U in 06 and 07. Can I give you a little nugget on Mark Parrish? This was the best part. When he was Late a member on. of the Minnesota Wild, for one of the years, it was kind of a tough year. Whenever there was a loss, a home loss, nobody ever wants to talk to you. It's just the worst part of the job, covering a club. You go into the room, everybody would just give up and go to Parrish because he was always so willing to talk. When he leaves, you look around the room and you say, where can I go? Where can we hide and get a quote for the boss? They score! So I'm sure we'll get a lot of quotes from the man known as Perry here. Bolton wants the hat trick. Is he looking for the hats? Oh, he's looking for the hats. There's one. Can I, throw bucket, your, can I throw yours on there? A bucket? No, no. <laughs> Hopkins hockey is not going to get launched. I could definitely get on the ice of here. Uh, if you can't, we have issues. You know I got that arm. We got a great look. We don't have to have one to get it out there. O'Brien for Team USA plays it to Blower to the right side. Five to four. Canada storming back. Now it's Bolton again. O'Brien pulls up, shoots, and Miska makes the save. Miska had to come up big on that one once again. Yeah, we got ourselves a game, Wags. Uh, Canada puts two on the board in uh, just a couple minutes. The North Branch Minnesota native is uh, was looking to get his footing back together there on that play. Got it. Goaltenders are always in adjustment mode, believe me. As a former goaltender, recovering. Here comes Team Canada, left wing side. Bayou marches in on goal to the back and Watson scores. Oh. Take it, Candy from a baby. Stefan Bayou gets the big round of applause from the Wild Faithful here at Ritter Arena as we're knotted at five with 17.23 to go in the second half. Love the breakaway speed from Bayou. I mean, as we said earlier, he's been everywhere tonight. Going hard. Breakaway speed and then the, the patience to just help hold on to that puck. Boy, we just, you know what, we give our director total props, and then he, he... It's all right. Here, he's calm back with it. Great breakaway speed, and then just the patience. Holds it, holds it, holds it. Look Gets at around the, the, the stick poke. Look at you keeping it positive. Very safe. Galagoski and Brock Nelson off the end boards. Now it's Schmidt with it. You get a chance. We'll get there in a minute. Brock Nelson leaves it off for tape. Almost looks like a power play here, the way they're setting her up. Down low, Bukestad, Nelson, Tate, that one wide of the cage. LeBlanc was there. And back at center, here comes Harding on the rush. Oops, over oh. skates. Looks to play a pass. Skate to hand. Harding gets it back. He's all over it. Everywhere. Plays this one off the boards. Now it's going to be Erich bothered to the corner by Schmidt, who lets him go. Erich tries to protect the puck, but now it's going to be gathered up and played out of the zone by Jamie McBain. Now it's going to be across the ice with Nelson. Looks to play through for Tafe. Oh, he had the net. That deflects wide. McBain goes through the wickets. No go there. A little raffle dazzle out here at the Ritter Arena surface. You're watching Defending the Blue Line NHL Players Charity Game. Saturday, August 3rd, 2013. For those of you watching it on demand. Of course, this will be posted uh, on a delayed upload as well. We'll get that to you as soon as we can. And it's going to be Chorsky. It should be a matter of a couple of days. Chorsky looks ahead to the left wing side. That's behind the intended receiver. Here's a foot race for it. Fails to click. 
And now it's to the right wing side. It's going to be Tate. Oh, oh my word. An absolute play. That brought some people to their feet. Bukestad with a big one there. One of the hardest shots around. Nick Bukestad uh, just gets teed up on that one. That's, that's just butter in the bread right there. He has that prototypical NHL body. He's big. He's strong. He can shoot the puck. That's a gift that a lot of players have, but to the level of his, is at another level of shooting. Do you see him uh, contributing with the Florida Panthers this year? Uh, to, to, to an extreme level, no, but uh, to some level, absolutely. Do uh, you, you think he's on the roster? Well, he's on he's the gonna... roster, but I'm just not sure to what how ready he's yet to really be a huge contributor. Because the typical thing is, if we get into analyst mode here, is can he play the 82 please, games? Please do. Can he play the 82 game schedule? We've seen it happen here at the University of Minnesota when it got a little bit tighter down the WCHA run. It was a little tougher for him to uh, keep the numbers up. Um, now things may change in the NHL. I, I think it's going to be a couple yeah, years a for him. Does it be conditioning thing for him? Uh, it, it's physical. It's mental. It's being checked. It's it's all sorts of things. Teams focusing in on you and and those types of things. Um, but there's other players out here too that are, are fringe. Budish being one of them. He's in front of the net, scored the game's first goal wearing sweater number 24. I think the thing about Budish that's going to be interesting for the Nashville Predators is he's about, I'd say, two to three years away. He's going to have to play some serious AHL hockey with the Milwaukee Admirals to uh, get up, I think, to the, the speed. But the interesting thing is, I think he's a center iceman. His old coach at high school, Dave Twillier, thought that's that. Yeah, yeah, he's very, very sound defensively. Yeah. He doesn't look like he's going fast because he doesn't have all the little moving parts, but he's a very effective smart, skater. Smart player. Absolutely. But I still think he's a couple of years away from uh, having some sort of damage. The guy that I've been impressed with is Jimmy O'Brien, who just gave that off there to Bolton, his shot in on goal. Now, this is a guy who, who had an okay career at uh, the college level. University of Minnesota, and he's just he's just been, I don't want to say a, a late bloomer, because that's probably not fair, but his, his I it's bad, that might but, be the, fair. but the belief that, that Brian Murray and uh, Paul McClain have put in him and Ottawa has been very good, as they've been utilizing him a lot. Joe Finley leaves it. Now they play this one. Erich, that one fails to click. O'Brien to the corner. Bayou back behind the net. There's a shot, nice save there, Miska, the former North Branch Viking. Isn't it true for a lot of these guys in, in regards to O'Brien? Oh, Christo, wow. how's he going? Could not pull the trigger on the back end. He'll be working the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, nightmare on that one. It's the team and the and the organization, the system that you that you're in that can allow you to, you know, find find yourself and, and find your 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 way in, in the league at. at oh. 28 years old. Bolton was looking for goal number four. Well, you know, Les Jackson, a good friend of mine from the Dallas Stars, were at, uh, he was looking at Stephen Fogarty, among others, at an Edina High School game that I was announcing a few years back. And uh, we talked about that. It used to be that the NHL teams would give a kid, a player, till 21 before they gave up on him. And now it's 26, 27. Yeah. Because their, their point is some guys are now hitting level three, four, there's five levels of puberty when you grow up. Some guys aren't hitting that stuff till 19, 18, 19, so they're giving him time to mature. There's a shot, and this guy another say they wanted five hole there with O'Brien. So I think that's kind of a uh, an interesting uh, concept. Bolton, the guy I talked about six years in the minor leagues, has grown and evolved into an everyday player, and you know it's not easy to make it in that league. No, it, it's not. It's a worldwide league, and. You take a look at the players that have played in Finland and, and the types of impact some of those guys have had in the NHL. And you've got the Czechs and now the Slovaks. And obviously the Russian players have been very good. Team Canada speaks for itself. Team USA has a shot at gold this upcoming Winter Olympics. And you know what? To close down the NHL season for the Winter Olympics, there is no better. That's the thing right there. There's a pickpocket as it's played back through. Um, that, that's the thing to talk about, though, is... is I think that's the best Olympic sport. Of course, I'm a hockey fan, but there's no doubt about it. It's pretty great. Well, it's because there's probably four or five teams that have legit shots at picking up gold. You know, in the basketball thing, anything short of a U.S. victory is, is a major disappointment, and that's not a knock at the rest of the world, and they haven't gotten it every time, and it's been for varying reasons, but I think on the hockey side of things, it's a wide-open deal. 
sweet. It's very and good. How, how good was it in Vancouver four oh, years ago? Man. Like, the U.S. and Canada in the gold medal game. I mean, that was just an incredible stuff. That Parisi goal late in the game was unreal. Yeah, it was. Right wing side played back up through center. Now that team did a lot of things together. Uh, I had a friend that was a part of the traveling contingency there with them, and I think it's fair to say they became very close, and that was an era of USA hockey where when Ronick and Madano and all those guys kind of shut her down and turned it over to the new crew of guys, you, you said, wow, this is these are some Hall of Famers we're talking about here. And who's to say that Zach Parisi won't be someday? But, but it, you know, we're, we're talking about 14, 1,500 points in the show for Madonna or whatever it is. I mean, huge numbers. And uh, the, the mantle and the torch has been passed neatly. Hendricks across the line. McBain touch pass. Octosa was there. Oh, and McBain wanted to go short side, didn't get it. And it's going to be gathered in by Hendricks. Team USA has a steady line out here. That's off the post. LeBlanc had that covered. In front to the backhand, McBain tried to poke it through, and that's off the stick of Rick Erich as it pops his. Yeah, I think the kind of one of the neat things, you know, just to continue that Olympics speech, you got this, it's a fun topic with, with the cup coming this winter. You, got, you, see, you know, you know, all these young guys at Team USA, you know, they're going to be around for for you know this Olympics and then, and then maybe one more. This but is, you, you think yeah. about it being every four years, I mean. It's reminiscent to the, the, you the. You want to go get it now. It's reminiscent of the U.S. team in the mid-90s that won the uh, World Cup in the summer when they went into Montreal in the Forum. Oh, it was unreal. There's a shot that's wide of the cage when they played Canada and you, in the decisive game and picked up the win. And and then and then they were in Salt Lake City and finished second and it was a silver medal. Had an opportunity to take gold. And then, of course, you look at the junior teams and how they've been playing and you know, Canada and the U.S. have pretty much been volleying back and forth. He can slide in a little sweet here or there, but it's been pretty much that. Here's Veyu looking, shooting, and a save as there's 8.15 to go. 6-5, to five, your score, Team USA over Canada. And you look at Team USA, and, and that roster is probably going to be pretty similar to the one that they had in... in well, oh, the players that have been invited to camp are very similar. Nine, right? Very similar, yeah. yeah. It's still, a, you know, the irony is it's a still a pretty young roster. Canada. It would have been 2010 in, in Vancouver. But they had the veterans on the blue line perish in and there's going to be no catching up to this one. Tate, there there's about four passes there. Oh. Back and they score. Boy, that was absolutely elementary. Turnover up high from Parrish to Chorsky, and down they go. Seven to five. There you see, watch this one pass there. There's two. And then he's got, I thought he's going to give it another one, but. Instead, he decided to put that one away to Bukestad with the goal scorer's touch. Prosser plays to the near side for Finley. That fails to click. Budish plays back behind for Prosser. Two goal U.S. lead. Left wing side. Here comes Budish with some speed. Neat pass to the right side. Here's a touch pass. LeBlanc with a nice save on Bukestad. Bukestad is saying, Bolton, I'm not going to let you get that MVP. I'm going to give it a look, too. There's a pass played up to the near side. That was Ben Hendrickson from the U.S. Air Force. And it's played back through. Here comes Erich with it with a look. That one high and wide of the cage as he gave that one a bid there. I remember I remember this last year. I, I, we, they don't name an MVP, but we like to just we name, do. yeah, we name our own. Uh, I, I think we name a, a USO.org, USO MVP. Do you want to do it? I'm with you. you. You, but you're the one charged with it. It's a lot of responsibility. I, I need it. I need some game notes right now. I need to, I need to see the. the That's why notes. you're the analyst. That's why you know. You well, don't need notes. Your I, mind is your note. I was gonna say that the, the in the first session, the first half would have belonged to Oposo. Right now, I don't know. Well, I o, Oposo and uh, I, I, I would I, I would say him and Bugi from Team USA. Bugi's dead. And I would say uh, Bolton definitely on Team Canada. Has yeah. anybody else stood out on the Canadian edition? There's a shot and a save. Matt Erich with it now. I'd say that's a, that's a, that's a fair trio. Stefan Bayou. We're not getting arguments from camera operator Todd Mulliken. We're good. Matt Erich looks in on goal. Shot and oh. a save. I was thinking he was Thomas Vanek in the early going. I kept thinking, when did Vanek change, get shorter and change buckets? I learned quickly. 
the right wing side. Here comes Hendricks, 5.33 to go. Oh, LeBlanc fought that one off. That was a quick a shot and on goal, absolutely. Now it's going to be Chorney with it. Leaves back up to the middle. It's going to be turned back up by Ben Hendrickson. And now here's Bayou. He's going to bid Bayou to the forehand. Oh! I can't even say anything more. My jaw was dropped. I didn't know. Wow. He, you know, he might be the fourth guy that we've uh, forgot about on the I MVP just mentioned list. him. I'm sure there are people in the I'm, viewing crowd that caught on to that. After that move, that's, that, that's that, two that, goals for to him now. Well, 7-6 to six is your score. He's been very active today. I've been impressed by his game. Here's McBain. Well, he's going a little bit harder than the rest. <laughs> well, well, I mean, it's... Here's Christo with he's it. He's getting ready for something. Well, he's always getting, taking the body there on Christo. I told you, he's going to go with somebody. Down to the slot area. He's the kind of guy, it's just no fun to play pickup. Huh? Well, it is, but you just better keep your head up. Bayou leaves off, left wing side. That one's for O'Brien. Gets away from McBain as they play it to the corner. Hendricks plays it. Matt Hendricks, Nashville Predators. Up high to the line on it there. It's played through by Goligoski, who gets it back. Bolton and Goligoski played catch now. So Brian with the big frame of the corner. Schmidt checks it off his stick. Ahead they go to his Team USA. Now it's going to be Christo on the off wing. Tries to cut to the slot area. Savage on oh. the play and they tap it home for the goal. Grzakposo once again. Eight to six, the two goal lead. Is that a trio for Alcosa? I believe that's the trick for him. Great little feed McBain, here. McBain, I like that little shoulder fake there. Throws LeBlanc. And I like the sure handed tuck it in off the post. The stuff. Unselfish Jamie McBain. Galagoski with it now. He's going to play that one rink wide for Tom Chorsky. Back for Galagoski. Ahead for O'Brien. He has Bolton with him. O'Brien tried to create but couldn't find room on the defense. Oh, oh, scores! Goal number four. Is he a difference maker? He's an MVP. Eric Bolton. I, I think he got to win the game to get those. Yeah, you do. But he's, he's, te he's Team Canada's MVP. Well, we'll see. 254, Bolton wanted that one again, tried to muscle his way through as that was played ahead neatly there by Budish. Now it's Galagoski, muscles away from one man, and oh. do we have too many men on the ice or a bench penalty? We got a, a bench hooking. minor. We got a hooking call. A bench minor. He called a hook on somebody. Uh-oh. They're going to the money man, Bol Bolton and O'Brien. O'Brien said, you're the hot hand, it's all you. Okay, we're looking to tie it up here. 2.35, frozen on the clock. Bolton in on goal with Miska. Oh! Scores! And it's 8-8. Eight to eight. Got the soul patch rocking there. Looking awfully comfortable here in Ritter Arena. Oh, look at that, pulls up. Looks like he's a shootout specialist for that one. He does. Slowed it down real nicely. But kept the forward momentum so critical. Yeah, kind of had that Kane, that Kane esque look to the it. The Patty Kane. Finley kicks that away to center ice. Bolt is there. O'Brien poked off his stick. Now it's going to be Bukestad. Ooh, they're going hard here to the right wing side. That was O'Brien, now it's Bayou, back to O'Brien. Budish fishes that one free. Budish to the goal mouth area. Bolton's going to turn it back up ice. He's dangerous. Across center. The New York Islanders pass for Ottawa Senators. Jimmy O'Brien fails the click, and now it's Parrish to the left wing. Handled there by Bayou. Back to O'Brien. Bayou going. Oh, and a nice play by Prosser. Parrish wants the hook, didn't get it. Here's a quick snipe over the top of the goal. Played back in behind the net. Parrish, of course, serves as the color commentator for the St. Cloud State Huskies. Worked with Jim Rich, my former colleague and uh, good friend from Fox 9. Now it's O'Brien with it. Turns away from trouble. A minute and a half to go. O'Brien across the line. Two on four. 
Al Bolton with it. Looks to the slot area. That gets swatted away and played back up to the right wing side. Here comes Bukestad with speed. He has Hendricks to the net. Bukestad shoots. Pad save. And a good one there by LeBlanc. Now it's Bukestad again. Shovels that one away from traffic. 105 to go. Tied at 8. Hendricks back up high to the line. Here's Bukestad with a look. Bukestad turns away from Bolton. Back up for McBain. McBain was blocked by Mayu, but keeps the line neatly down the left wing wall. Here's McBain to the forehand. Shoots oh. to LeBlanc. Another big save. He's been huge here down the stretch for Team Canada. Turning that one back up to the right wing side. That's off the stick of Bayou. And it's going to be Oposo who plays it right wing side for McBain. Drop pass for Hendricks. Back to McBain to the backhand. Scores! Team USA takes the 9-8 lead with 29.6 seconds remaining on the clock here in the second half. Now last year we had a tie game, if you recall. Louis Danny. Oh, Ian Leonard wants the timeout. Trying to force the shootout, right? As I recall last year, it would go to the shootout format if we end up in a tie. The shootout format, how many do we have? Five? Five on five. Five rounds. We have five shooters, five rounds. We're not, we're not, we're not there. We're, we're not, not there yet. <laughs> we have got some business to take care of. At this point, it's not going to happen. They so. got, well, right now, if you're Team USA, it's not going to happen. If you're Team Canada, you're doing whatever you can to get a scoring chance. Canada's been uh, impressive in their second half rally here. Led Lou, by Lou, Lou Nanny, Mr. Uh, Eric Bolton. One of the most competitive people you'll ever meet, Ian Steve Payne and Ian Leonard. They're taking the goalie now. They're going 6-5. Taking the extra man. Why not? Go after it. Go get it if you're Team Canada. Former North Star Steve Payne looking very comfortable on the bench to cope. Josh Harding out there. The secret weapon. Oh, they, they do have Josh Harding out there. Do you think he's just going to go straight to the net? Yeah. There he is right on the right side. The green pants. Draw one by Team Canada. They're going to play that one deep. Here comes O'Brien. McBain watches him back behind the net. Bolton gets it. Parrish storms down the right side. Checked on the play. And it's going to be played off the corner. 12 to go. They better hurry. Team Canada looking to get an opportunity. Bolton can't play it up. Here comes Chorney. One time shot. That one wide of the cage. Three to go. And the Carum will take it out. Whistle on the play. on the play. Point nine seconds on the clock. Too many men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Doing whatever they can to tie this up. one up, right? There. Seven up there. <laughs> that is beautiful. And they called it, too. Yeah, here comes exactly. Hendricks. <laughs> Hendricks is coming in. We just, what do I do here? Oh, they want to put Patterson in on this one. Look at their uh. change on the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> and he stopped. That's the best part. Lou Danny, coach of the year. Oh, he's putting them both out. Two at once. Oh, they're going to come back. They took Hendricks off. This is awesome. And on goal. <laughs> and that one over the glass. And they put five seconds up on the clock. They better put ten more seconds on the clock. They're doing everything they can to force overtime. Right. Pretty soon the ice bill is going to get a little larger here. <laughs> Look at the dueling. Look at the dueling. I love it. Dueling tendies. That's so great. <laughs> oh, there's your there go. penalty. Okay. 
Whatever we can do to get it to the shootout, I think that's uh, that's the goal. Really, they did need that goal to make it 98, did they? Here we go, Harden. Oh my goodness. They set, they got what they want. The Minnesota Wild goaltender with the breakaway. He better not miss this one. We're all watching and waiting. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what Louie Nanny's going to pull out of his hat on this one. Oh, here comes Bolton. His secret weapon. Oh, I guess not. Wow. That might have been hard. Josh Hardy's first penalty shot attempt. S someone's calling for the trade. Was that our uh, director? Zach Alverson. 9 to 8. They still have 5 seconds. We're doing whatever we can to get an evened up score here. Chorsky. Looks like there are seven guys. They're going to play not, this one through. Not starting the clock. And Team USA scores. Hendricks pumps that one home. They still have five seconds on the board. And, and that's going to do it. They're going to call the game. <laughs> oh, what a fun time that was. Awesome. Good stuff indeed. So, hey, we had some uh, great action out here from Ritter Arena at the lovely campus, the University of Minnesota. Team USA defeats Team Canada by a score of 10 to 8. A great effort for defending the blue line. The NHL Players Charity Game, of course, defending the blue line, keeping hockey alive in uh, families and military families. Great autograph sessions, raffle, the whole deal. A nice crowd here tonight. Also, like to mention USO.org. Check out the website. Doing some great things as well. Relies a lot on uh, generous uh, folks like all of us uh, that uh, are very interested in these uh, these great endeavors as well as corporations and whatnot. So, if you're interested in taking a look at USO.org, do that as well. As of course, you're right here on defending the blue line. Uh, great to watch Josh Harding play as a forward. Can't wait to see him get back in the pads. And then, of course, you had everybody else that uh, were dressed in a part of the process. The coaches from Blue Nanny to Steve Payne and Ian Leonard, Bill Housley, Grant Patoni, and Dave Schwartz having a great time with the guys. They're all smiles, having a great time. So, uh, Andrew, we're going to wrap it up and uh, conclude our coverage here. Oh, wait, we've got the cup. Nice piece of hardware for Team USA here. Very impressive. You and I saw that one get marched in on our way in uh, with the broadcast equipment. Pat Hendricks holds the cup. He brings it over to his mates. Uh, everybody looks on, and there you go. They're going to pass that baby around, and uh, there you have it. J.B. McBain, of course. Each dad is there. That's going to do it here. Once again, defending the blue line for our producer extraordinaire, Zach Halverson, color commentator, Andrew Neeland. Very th uh, special thank you to uh, Shane Udell and the crew that put this together. It's a pleasure to be a part of it. I'm Pete Wagner. So long, everybody.
men and women of the United States Armed Forces, the USO delivers the joys and comforts of home, even out here. Find out how you can help at USO.org. The USO, until everyone comes home.